What's up guys, it is Murdering here, back with another Read Shadow Legends video. Now today we're going to be talking about something a little bit interesting. I found it out kind of in when I was in a troll mood on Twitch yesterday. And huge shout out if you were watching me on Twitch, that was a really fun stream. So we were fooling around, we said let's do something absolutely crazy that no one's ever seen before. And in doing that, we found out something quite interesting. Now while there is a specific point to this video, I'm also looking for viewer and community feedback on what I'm about to say because I'm actually entering uncharted waters for the first time in this game of Raid Shadow Legends. This is information that I don't know about, haven't had the chance to ask Plarium about since it is the weekend, so I'm kind of looking for what you guys have noticed if you guys have seen anything like this before. What I want to talk about is statistic caps in this game. So there are the obvious ones like 100% crit rate is the highest you can have, you can have more than that. I have talked about resistance in the past where everything has a baseline resist chance of 3%. So you can never have a 100% chance to land, 97 would be the max possible. With the way diminishing returns work, you would actually never be able to hit 97%, which moves into things like ignore defense. You obviously can't ignore 100% defense, it's just not possible with the gear we have. And finally, the next talked about point, which would definitely be the amount of speed a champion can get is limited to the amount of speed rolls per piece of gear plus the max glyph. So these are all kind of the stat caps that we know about, that we've gone through and kind of worked on. But I found something interesting. My point on the stream yesterday was I said, Let's have some fun, let's do some trolling. Let's try to make the largest shield in the history of raid that anyone's ever seen. What I did was I took both of my Mountain Kings, put the first one in the shield set at 163,000 health, put the second one in his shield set at 157,000 health. Finally, using Sir Nicholas in Savage gear, doing insane damage, I gave him awesome damaging masteries to make sure that A2 stacked the biggest shield possible and finally, I use someone like Lord Champfort, who has the highest HP or in the game in dungeons by 50%. What I found here was very interesting that really led me to question a few things. Something I've noticed in the past that I've never brought up is it would kind of be a big deal, but this is where we actually get to explore this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go into the spider dungeon. Obviously, Sir Nicholas is going to shine here a ton. It does more damage than the other shielding champions, such as Miscreated Monster, especially with the gear that I have on him today. So what I did for fun is, I do have a Mother Superior in here to kind of show you the shield size with level 1 here. One thing I did try is using a Dracomorph here, and this is where we kind of found out what the deal was. Let's go ahead and take a step, do a run in here, and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see here, the base shield just from the shield set is absolutely gigantic. But now watch what happens when I use this A2. Everyone's shield just got massive, right? So ideally you would say, what happens if you take Mother Superior out, put a defense down and weaken, making Sir Nicholas hit harder, making that shield do much more damage. So obviously you won't be able to see it now, but in case you're curious, every single dark line separating from the shield is the equivalent of 10,000 health. When you see the lighter lines on champions who are lower level, that equivalent is 5,000 health and you can kind of pick and choose on where the bar is cut off at the end of the champion's HP to determine a rough estimate of how much health they have by just visually looking at it. So you can count this and you can kind of go over with it yourself if you want to to see how big these shields are. I do know the numbers but I don't want to talk about them just yet until I go over my next point. So as we can see here, just try to get a mental image of these shields and what they look like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to restart this battle. Swapping out Mother Superior with someone like a Dracomorph, giving that defense down and weaken, which is going to skyrocket the amount of damage that Sir Nicholas does with this A2. Now for those of you who don't know this, first of all, the damage difference between having a defense down and weaken and not is gigantic as it is. but Places shield buff on all allies, the value of the shield is equal to 30% of the damage inflicted. With that being said, this shield should be absolutely massive compared to the one we just saw. However, that is not the case. I actually did do this on stream and I used Sir Nicholas as the kind of test dummy here. 
I tested this with defense down on weekend, without defense down on weekend, using the level 1 Mother Superior. The shield on Sir Nicholas was always 290,000. With that being said, and from what I gather from this, unless you guys as the viewers know something that I don't know, that would mean that all shields are capped in this game to 290,000. Because if this were true, these shields would almost be double the size based on the damage difference that we just saw between defense down and weekend and without Mother Superior. I also tried this without Santa in full damage gear, meaning without that HP Savage gear. Now, so why is this relevant? Some people can view this and say, this is cool, this is fun, but why does this really matter? So the fact that there is a cap in how much HP a champion can get, this leads us to other questions saying, what other caps are there actually in this game? Now, what I've done in the past is, everyone knows that enemy max health champions such as Coldheart, especially against the spider, do a ton of damage, like a ton of damage. However, one thing I've noticed and I was kind of shocked about is, I've actually pushed this to the limit, building as much crit damage as possible on a Coldheart with the relevant amount of crit rate she would need to in fact crit every time. So that maximum was 386% crit damage. Now once I started doing runs, I don't have a battle on my account, it's one of the few legendaries I'm missing, I do in fact have a Gurp Tuck. However, I wanted to try this without any damage multipliers because obviously increasing damage done, that's pretty self-explanatory as far as coding goes. But the main point here is the number I saw that my cold heart was doing since she really only scales on crit damage there's a small multiplier for attack however crit damage is the main scaling factor on any champion that deals enemy max health hits my cold heart was doing 2.2 2.4 million damage with 386 crit damage now if you're an endgame player you know about how much damage champions do you know that this number actually isn't that high based on the ridiculous amount of crit damage that i have which now makes me think after seeing something like this, is there in fact a cap on enemy max health hitters that they can in fact get from the stat of crit damage? If there is in fact a cap, what is it so we can know never to go past that point and to only use champions like Battle and Gurp Tuck as raw damage multipliers and improving that damage? So this is something that ever since that stream has kind of been racking my head saying, well, what are the other things that could be affecting this now? What if it's not just crit damage? What if there are other stats that we haven't thought about that have an in-game cap that would really benefit us as the player base to know and we just haven't thought about it until now? So while this may seem like something that's just for fun and just knowing that for Santa Claus specifically, because I have noticed that it actually does depend on the amount of health the champion has. And what I've gathered so far and from what I've counted on these champions, anywhere from 360 to 370,000 total, I guess, HP, including the shield is what the cap is really at. I'm not sure why there's a fluctuation between the two. Possibly it has to do with the base health the champion has. I would really be interested to know and find out from Plarium what their metric is on how they actually cap the shield damage here. So what I want to know from you guys is, is there anything else you can think of in this game that could possibly be capped? Now that we've seen that shields do in fact have a baseline cap in this game. And as mentioned, I did give some earlier examples of things like resistance and speed. That's not so much what I'm looking for. I'm more looking for things along the lines of what I talked about with the cold heart. As far as doing what in my opinion seems to be a very low amount of damage, based on the amount of damage other champions are doing. Now I do have royal guards who are hitting for 1.8, 1.9 million damage. However, my royal guards do not have 386% crit damage. They're only at like 270, 280. And what I do know is anything from damage multipliers, crit damage, ignore defense, all of those things. I never run Helm Smasher on them. So I'm eliminating one fact of RNG, but that's not really the point here. The real point is, there's always going to be a threshold of damage champions do, especially from crit damage where the cold heart I'm specifically talking about can do maybe 2.2 million damage, but it can also do 2.6 million damage. Now the swings are much higher for enemy max health hitters than they are for non-enemy max health hitters. So this I know, which is why when you see a crit, you're always seeing different numbers and not the same number over and over again. Now while I do know that's the case, I have tested this out enough times with enemy max health champions such as Septimus, Royal Guard, and Coldheart. And the numbers just didn't add up to me. I didn't know what to make of it before. I never really considered that Clarion would actually put a 
hard cap on crit damage and what it could do to enemy max health i noticed something similar to this in the clan boss where i calculated how much damage septimus was doing based on the crit damage he was doing and his damage wasn't going up no matter how much more i added whether it was attack whether it was crit damage so that was a second kind of turning point for me to say i think something is up with the crit damage here so that's why, once again, I want to know your feedback. Can you think of anything else in this game that could possibly be gated behind some type of in-game cap on the stats? I think this would be interesting and if we can together come up with information like this and I can confirm it with Plarium because they usually, unfortunately, want me to come forward first to bring it up before they just straight up say something, which I can't complain too much. I understand why they do it, intellectual property, all of those things, but... I'm personally extremely interested in what this has to say for the game and what could possibly be happening here. Obviously the run we're watching right now, I'm never gonna win, it's gonna go on forever. I kind of just did this so you had something to watch while I was talking. But that is the whole point of this video here. Me trying to figure out what else in this game actually has a cap. Now that I do know that there is a cap behind the shield set. Now while this probably isn't relevant Anywhere outside of Spider, you can use someone like a Krisk and a Valkyrie, or a Shield set, a Krisk and a Valkyrie, something like that. Shields do overlap with each other. If I had thrown a Valkyrie in there, she would have overwritten the shield from Sir Nicholas. The same thing can be applied, which is kind of a nuisance to Clan Boss. If you're using someone like a Duchess or you're using Krila, the ally attack champion, when she places a shield, her shield actually replaces anything else, including a Valkyrie shield and a counter attack, and obviously the difference between those two shields are night and day. So that's going to be it for this video today. Give me your feedback. This is something that has really sparked my interest, and I'm looking to see out of the community who knows something that maybe I overlooked or I missed. You guys already know about this in a different aspect of the game. Definitely take the time to leave a comment if you do know something. As always, guys, thanks a ton for watching. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you're notified the next time I upload a video. And I will see you all in my next upload.